Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this Wednesday evening? Yes, baby crone? Yes. So anyway, baby crone is in the background. But anyway, I come because, you know, I'm feeling better. I'm not out of the, I'm out of the woods. I'm out of the fire. I'm out of all of that, I believe. But I'm still in pain. I still can't open my mouth far. Remember, I told you I had surgery in my mouth. So anyway, I just want you to know I'm getting better. And of course, when you're getting better, you can't be quiet. So I'm on here. So if you see me do something like that, it's just that I'm not trying to pull my mouth. It's still not healed yet. So with that being said, I want to talk about T.D. Jakes. What do you say when you're talking about church folk? What do you take? What do you say when you're talking about a man that that appeared to be a prophet of God? Let me go another way. You know, when you had R. Kelly, he was a great singer. I believe I can fly. You know, hey, Mr. DJ, remember him? Um, what was that other one? Um, uh, what was it? I'm going to be in my my Cadillac. No, his his um, dub 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 dun dun dun. You know, it's that thing and cool and little girls just do do do. That that I mean him and all of his hits disappeared. Should it be the same for the man of God? I don't know. That's a good question. Should should it be the same? I hear people saying he still should preach. I'm confused. I'm baffled. This is why I can't deal with Christianity. You see the signs of the time. I am perplexed. When the Bible says that when you find that a person is corrupt, it says, come from underneath of them. That's what it says. But when you want to stay, I mean, this is the great revealing. I mean, it's like, it's, it's so many things I can say. This is the great falling away. And it's like we living in these times and we see these things and yet we still don't believe. I am not here to judge T.D. Jakes because G.D. Jakes stands judged already. I'm, I'm, I'm not shocked that ever since he said he was a businessman first, I, I felt that something rubbed me a wrong way. But as far as I'm concerned, there was something that left T.D. Jakes ministry a long time ago. It was still, it was something about the anointing. It just wasn't there. And this has been a few years. I've noticed that the, that the anointing have not been the same. So I guess people have to decide on what is best for you. But right now I'm going to lay cards and what I'm going to put here to represent TD Jakes would be what baby Chrome. Mm. Would a would a home represent him? Home? Yes, because he because he had a church. I'll have a male. Okay. And that would represent father. Okay. So how about that? Yes. Have he been a good father? The cards have all been shuffled already. So we're just gonna do a read on him and see has he been a good father? For me. When it come down to my soul and you fall, we all fell because I, I trusted you. So my trust was skewed. So I have to do something about that. I cannot be a part of that. I have to untangle myself. That's me. So let's see, let's get the mail. Let's get the mail. Let's see how far this mail is up here. Let's see. Not so bad. I 
I said, Mel, you know what I was thinking? What? I should have said a dog, like as a best friend. Oh. Yeah, not as a negative. Yeah, no. I mean, you could Here it you. is. So we got the mail, and we have somebody who we could trust, you know, someone who's earthy, somebody that's keeping it real, somebody who in the time of his ministry had a very fresh um, ministry. Um, the bottom card here would be, again, the tower. And here, let's start laying out the cards. So um, I'm going to lay that. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Wait. So, whew, Lord have mercy. I'm looking at the cards. And I got the secret card. Let me get my glasses. Let me just take an overview. So, who am I reading on? You were reading on T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay. The card opens up with the serpent. So the card opens up with the serpent, which lets me know that there's deception found in all of this. When I do the four corners, like the north, the south, the east, the west, you know, when I do the corners, I see a queen, I see birds as an owl, I see a home, and I see dice. In the middle, in the middle, well, this is the middle, but this is the middle, so. Do you need one more row? I think I need another row to balance this out for me. So I'm just going to go ahead on and put the serpent there. Okay. And I'm going to put that and I'm going to put that, that, that way I got a middle there. That, that's what messed me up the last time. So anyway, what I see here when I, now, when I look at the cards, I see the serpent deception coming from above somebody of a high order deception. Also below the deception in the corner, I see a house a home, an elaborate home, be this a church, be it a home, I'm not clear. On the next corner, I see a bridge as in to be removed or taken from or to help get over something. And last, I see dice as in this is a dicey move that there, there is it's the luck of the draw. What I see in the past, I see a serpent. Underneath of that serpent, I see a woman. So it seems that the woman has been deceived. Underneath the woman, I see the clouds. So this woman has have a cloudy view. And in a tumultuous storm in her life that she doesn't want to see the truth about the man because the card of the man is in the middle, but the, the storm is facing the man and the woman is in triangle to the man. And below the man is a garden where there is a lot of people that has been watching this couple, watching this family, observing this family, and apparently watching the house of God. This is what I see in the, in the, in the past. Now in the presence, this is what I see. I see somebody want to pass the baton, want to move on, want to move on and, 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 and commerce. It's like a business and parts of the business 
he wants to pass on. Also, I see here where a book, where the books of his life is being open. And so here he's in the middle. He's in the middle above him. It's like he wants to move. He wants to make a move below the, be, below the ship. You see that the book is being opened. There are books. He is open. He's below it. He's below it and underneath of it, you see below it, there's more information. This is this is like um, YouTube, bloggers. This is, uh, how can you say it? The, the entertainment industry that he's feeling crowded. So he had the moon, he had the book, he had the birds, people chirping. And below him, he has the bloggers. So here you see the card that we left standing with was here, a compass. So his compass is off. His movements are off. The things he do now are off. They are off. Why? Because he know he's up against time. In the recent past, I mean, in the near future, what I see is he's going to need help to get over. There are going to be birds, but I see these are owls, owl, wise people that he's going to get wise counseling. Also, I see other birds, but the, this here, this is a stork. And I think a stork is a bird of prey. Am I not mistaken? I know an owl is. So look up a stork for me. But I know an owl is a bird of prey. So therefore, these places that he hang that he ought not have trusted because they are owls. They are watching, but they never have your best interests at heart. I also see the pelican. Is a pelican? A stalk? It, okay. A stork. Yes, a stork. Mm -hmm. Well, a, a bird of prey, including many um, predators such as storks, gulls, penguins, knife fishers, I'm not sure about. Okay, so these are birds of prey. Yes. So what I see in golf town is good birds of prey. Standing next to him, I must tell you what I see. I see the pelican or the stalk, which meaning bird of prey. But because of its big and its awkward size, and because, you know, when you hear stalk, it brings good news. It tells you you're going to have a baby. So this stalk is to, this stalk was trusted and beloved, but it was a bird of prey. So do that make sense, baby crumb? Yes. So beneath it, it's like his days are numbered. There is a sarcophagus right underneath of it. What do you mean? Does that mean he's going to die? I don't know about the man's death, but I know that there's going to strike a heavy blow to his ministry. This is definitely what I see. I see at the beginning, it was snake. And right here, I see dice. So when I see that, I say snake eyes, meaning you're crapped out. Your life is catching up with you. Now you might say, how can I read that? How do I know? Because this is how it's interpreting to me. I have yet to read the final card. So when I go to the first card, it's like deception from the very beginning. It was already deception from the beginning. When his wife, that woman, I'm going to believe it's his wife. I don't want to say it's his beard. I don't. But there she, no. She's very protective of him. Very. But she has been living in the shadows and in the storminess of his life. Always trying to keep a pleasant face because she believes in his ministry. She believes in his preaching. She believed that he is called to be a man of God. This is what I see right facing me in his recent past. So these things that are surfacing was already there from the beginning. They were just hidden. Now things are open. Now he wants to do, he wants to shift things. I don't know, but I see he's shifting things. I see movement commerce, business. I see a lot of movement. I think he understands that the books are open. He understands that his thing's about to get real messy. He's cool, calm, and collective. But in this 
place, he's at his most holy, vulnerable place. Because in this picture, he has no shoes on, meaning the feeling, the earth, and the energy of the atmosphere. Also, like I said, I definitely see the bloggers and all eyes on him, and he know he's got time. He's on borrowed time. He knows that his kingdom is about to fall. And most of all, he knows when one, there's two. And when there's two, there's three. And I think this was all called a part of the grooming. So like I said, in the near future, it's a bridge get over. There's a lot of chatter. There are birds of prey. He has been a bird of prey. His ministry now is I think he's going to give it to his daughter, but I think his ministry is going to take a powerful fall. I don't want to say what I really see. And I definitely see that, the you know, you crapped out. And the last that I see in this, you've hurt many. You've hurt many of your children. Many people looked up to you. Many people have questions. They want to know how'd your compass get off? They want to know how you end up over there with Diddy. They want to know why were you dancing? Why were you sitting there? Why were you eating food with them? They want to know you supposed to separate yourself and be unequally yoked. They have questions about your behavior. They want to know why this is happening. Because whatever's happening to D.D. Jakes is happening to his dear admirers. Those that follow him suffer and fall too. Because if you didn't see something about your pastor, then you was blind. Just as blind as three blind mice. So maybe you were a predator. If you didn't see these things, maybe you was a predator. What do you mean? At his ministry because of the fame, because of the name, because of who he was and who he is. Maybe you didn't want to see. I can't answer that. But these are questions that now you have to answer because he has drawn all of you into his drama. And I'm curious to know why haven't any of you spoken up until now? This is a sad day. So this leaves me with one thing. Who do you trust in an hour like this? I tell you, trust no one. Trust yourself. Study yourself. Find people of a like mind that talk the way you like to talk. Follow in small groups. Study to show yourself. Read your Bible, get commentaries, an encyclopedia, a concordance, whatever you need, and study. Get it on tape, whatever, videos, CDs, study to show yourself approved. And don't think it's going to take a minute to study this way of life takes a lifetime. Find yourself and stop looking to man and woman to guide you. They could be your friend, but look to yourself so you won't be caught in the evil day like today. All this stuff is being revealed and the women are next. So what do I have to say? He have deceived many children. Many followers. I have to stay here right now. I am heartbroken, but I am not surprised. Nothing surprised me anymore. Nothing. I am not, I am heartbroken because I saw him going to the parties. We heard about it, but I don't attend his church. It's not my place. I mean, I'm feeling like that's, you know, like I said a long time ago, I felt what I felt, but you know, I don't judge. But it's time for the people at your church to start judging. And you say, well, you can't judge. Well, if you can't judge for yourself, who's going to judge for you? So 
If you don't know, you have to know what's right and wrong to make a judgment, right? Right. So you have to know what's right and wrong. I'm saying just be careful who you follow. Follow yourself. Get in smaller groups. Because the church, as I see it, is coming down. When are we going to learn? These are just people like you and I. They don't have nothing. They just have gifts. This man can still pick up a mic and still preach. But it'll be like, it'll be like King Saul. There'll be no anointing. It'll be anointing for those that believe. But like I said, for me, his anointing left a long time ago. If you want to shout or you want to be set on fire, there's a difference to me. So I read this and the sadness that he is in. He's in trouble. His ministry is in trouble. He's in trouble. He's going to have to give an account for his actions and not by the church, but by the world. The, the world look for these things to happen. They look for it. And I'm so heartbroken that this had to be T.D. Jakes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What a shame. Well, that's my read. How did you like that, Baby Crown? Yes, Baby Crown enjoyed that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to ask any questions. No, but I think that's good enough. I'm just going to leave it just that, right? Is that all right? He's in trouble. But most of all, he's in trouble with his maker. I pray for his soul. With that being said, sunflowers. <laughs>